Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a tiny little haul from Ross. And then I'm gonna do a tiny little craft this reminds me of the Bob Ross guy with the tiny little tree and the tiny little dad and the remember that guy? Bless his heart. He was so sweet. He was so sweet. Anyway, I love to watch him. He, he, he would just calm the, the, the craziest of days, you know? Anyway, I digress. Great way to start out the video, Orlin, huh? Anyway, and then I'm going to go into, I have 11 questions to answer. So I'm going to move on along here in this video. Uh, this is going up on Tuesday. You all are seeing this on Tuesday and I will have one more video this week and that will be my cruising must-haves. That will be on Thursday. And then I'm going to be getting my house ready and I'm going to be entertaining my family. Uh, my dad is coming and the both girls and Dustin are coming on Saturday. So Friday is going to be spent cleaning and uh, not really doing a lot of cooking because my dad is bringing, um, he's from Maryland, you know, so he's bringing crab legs with him. <laughs> so we're going to be having crab legs on Saturday and that is my birthday and we will be celebrating my birthday that day too. But I, more than that, it's just, I am going to be thrilled and over the moon to have my whole family here in the house. So before Thanksgiving, you know, and as I said, I get to, you know, give dad a nice tour around the house and let him look at all the fall decor and everything, which I'm really, really happy about. Uh, let me take a moment to thank every single one of you uh, for all of your wonderful comments. Uh, uh, first on my home tour, my outdoor home tour, y'all are so sweet. And then on my uh, wardrobe video on Sunday, y'all are so sweet. I'm trying to cross post and let me mention this before I forget. And again, as you all know, I really am not a, a person to ask for subscribers. Uh, really, I've never done it on my channel. I've never thought that I should do it or needed to do it or whatever. I always figure if y'all want to subscribe, you will. But I did want to mention that I do have another YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, I also have an Arlen's Travels YouTube channel. And I, would, and I have been cross-posting and will continue through this series to cross-post my videos. Uh, in other words, put them up on Arlen's Travels and here on Arlen's Country Craft Corner. I will do it and load them, except for when I'm on the ship, I'll probably load them. I'm not sure where. I'm thinking on Travels, but I'm not sure where yet. I'll let you guys know about that. Uh, so I want to encourage those of you who are interested in my travels to head on over to Arlen's Travels and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell, which I'm gonna get back to that bell here in a second, uh, you know, so that you don't ever miss any of my uh, travel uploads, because uh, I'll tend to put them up there first before I get them on my Country Craft Corner. Uh, but I do have the two, the two YouTube channels that a lot of you have said, Arlen, we didn't even know you had another channel. And I feel really bad that I haven't mentioned it that much, you know. But I thought, oh, well, they'll find me. Well, you know, sometimes it would be nice if I said, huh? <laughs> and then don't assume. So, you know, I do have a second YouTube channel. It is called Arlen's Travels. And I would be greatly appreciative if y'all wanted to go over there and hit that subscribe button too. Uh, you know, and if you want to subscribe to me here on Country Calf Corner, if you're watching and not subscribed, please do. There, I said it. Boom. <laughs> My daughter told me, I don't know why you won't say that, Mom, you know, and I'm like, I don't know either, Kristen. It's just something that's just me. Anyway, regardless, phew, let's move on from there. <laughs> it makes me so uncomfortable. Okay, uh, I wanted to show you just a couple of things that I found at Ross the other day. And I just, walk, you know, Chris and I were actually out riding around and he said, well, do you have anything to buy? I said, I really don't. I said, I'm kind of between decor series. I pretty much got all the clothes I need for my cruise and jewelry and everything that I need. Uh, I need some sunscreen. That's the only thing I have left. So when you see my must-haves, I'll probably poke up there. I need sunscreen, you know, because I haven't picked that up yet. We have some here, I think, I'll need, I need to check. 
Anyway, I said, well, let me just, you know, run in there to Ross and let me just take a look at their and see if they have any more blue and white stuff sitting around because I still am collecting that stuff, you know. Well, their fall stuff is right to the right as you walk in the door and they don't, they're very picked over. They don't have a lot left. And I was just in there the week before, you know. Well, y'all, I look at what I came across. Look at this pretty two-tiered. Well, this is actually a bowl. Look at that. Whoops, it's got... Bet you can guess I'm going to put some pit berries in there, can't you? <laughs> it's got uh, pit berries in it. They didn't come with it, but it's a bowl on the top. Look at the leaf. Now, I could leave this out all year because, goodness knows, we have a lot of leaves around our house. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and also, but it's also good for fall, but it's wrought iron, and it's just a tray on the bottom, and it's a heavy little dude, you know? And then... A little bowl on the top and I'm actually gonna make this up real quick into like a little tiered tray and I think y'all be surprised at what I'm gonna use in it <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna set it right over by the couch right there I stopped at Home Depot I'll take a picture of it at the end I'll put it up at the end but I stopped at Home Depot on the way home today Chris and I were out and we both walked in and I said I just want one of those little wrought iron plan stands I said, I want, to I want to elevate this off the floor a little bit. And so I took that, and then I took one of my blue chargers, because I ordered six more, since I'm really liking these chargers, you know. So I have five left in my drawer. I pulled out one of the six that I ordered and blue dotted it on the top of that. And then this will sit right on the top of that. And it'll just elevate it up off the floor, and it's going to snug up against the couch there. So... I got that, and then I got one more thing, only two things, but I couldn't resist this. I wasn't planning on, on getting this in any way, shape, or form. But I thought, my land, this is so pretty. Oh, this the cost of this was $24.99. Regular, where's my glasses? 40, I think. Yeah, regular $40, and I got it for, $24.99, and it is food safe, it says, and it was also made in India, <laughs> but I love it, and then uh, this was not, this was back, they have a whole section of trays, of just trays, and I just thought this was just the prettiest thing, look at this, if I can get it up close to you, look at the etchings, now this is something I prob I may put an arrangement or something in this, but I think I'd rather sit this up like on my black hutch, you know, or in a uh, where I have my greatest I faithful plate, maybe to replace that, you know, just to hang it on the wall. Isn't that pretty? Or even set it up in a in a plate stand, you know, in a corner somewhere up on a table. I just think this is just super pretty. Look at that. Now, it's going to go away, unless I bring it out for Christmas, but I doubt it because I've got so much for Christmas. But this is going to go away probably till after Christmas. I'll bring it back out in January and put it somewhere. But I just thought this was super pretty, and it was uh, $12.99, regular $25. So $12.99 for this. I thought that was great, you know. Sorry for the lights. So, but super pretty tray. Trying to think if they had a larger one. They might have had a larger or a smaller one than that. That might have been the larger one. I can't remember. But anyway, let's do something really quick with this two-tiered two -tiered jobby here. And I'll tell you guys, it's not going to take me but just a second. Let me see if I can get you guys turned around here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to start at the top here. Really, this is so simple. Y'all are just going to laugh. I did not purchase one thing except for the tray. I didn't purchase any of what I'm fixing to use here. I'm gonna take a Pioneer Woman ramekin. I'm gonna turn it upside down like that. And I'm gonna set it right down in the, in the bowl like that. And then I took, y'all remember my silver Pipberry? This is Pipberry Garland from thepipberrybarn.com. I, I have two of these garlands like this. And I took one of them and I cut it in half. So I'm going to set one right down in here, like that. And then I have this pumpkin, and this was a, 
one of those potpourri pumpkins. And I don't even know where I got this from. I wanna go with my glasses. I don't know whether it still says on here. Home Goods. I uh, must have taken the price off. But you can replace the potpourri in it and stuff in the bottom. Doesn't smell like anything now. But I'm just gonna set this right up on that ramekin, but kind of tilt it up. See that? Now I can't see what I'm doing here in the front, but I'll probably fix that a little bit better. But I want it to kind of tilt, tilt up a little bit like that. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna do for up there. I don't even know whether I have it centered. Hopefully it looks okay. And then down on the bottom shelf, I'm going to take the rest of the Pipberry Garland and I tied it together with a tie wrap too. So I'm gonna set that down on the bottom and kind of flounce it out a little bit. And I'm not sure what's gonna happen with these pit berries, but right now I just want them big and flouncy and I want them to look messy, you know, a little bit messy. And then I have a little candle holder here, just a glass one. I want one to sit right back in the back like that. And then I have like a, a silver acorn. Got last year at Hobby Lobby, I believe. Now I might need to turn this toward myself a second because I want to get, I have three more acorns here that I want to get situated. I got these, I took all the tags off of these, but I wanna say I got these at Hobby Lobby last year and uh, they are super pretty. Just, they are glass. And I had these anchoring some corners of some tray, I think. Really want them up further away. Made it a little spot there. And that's about it, y'all. The only other thing that I have are some blue, but you know what? I, you know, I don't even, I like the two up there, but I'm not crazy about them down here. I think I would rather it without them. And just put just simple, just two right up in the top there. I'm gonna call that done, as Liz would say. Done. <laughs> Look at that. It looks pretty. And I'll put it over there on that wrought iron plant stand and get it all set up, and I'll take a picture of it for you. And I think it'll be pretty over there. Just a little accent piece. I love it. All right, let me get my camera situated again. There we go. It's that purple necklace. Y'all remember I hauled that for y'all last week? I dug out this purple, purple sweater. Y'all, I didn't think I had lost, ooh, I'm all crooked, lost that much weight since I got back from our Alaska cruise, you know, in May. But y'all, this sweater, this fit me before we left, and it is, it is. I've been pulling up the sleeves. I say, Chris, I need to make these three-quarter length sleeves. They're hanging down over my fingertips. I mean, they were long anyway, but at least they would stay in place. So the scale isn't really saying more than 80, a little over 80 pounds lost, you know, but I, things must be, uh, well, mom always used to tell me things get, you know, get reorganized, you know, so anyway. This sweater is pretty crazy, but I found it. It's purple, and it matches these, and the earrings are so pretty. So, 
so pretty. And this is as short as it goes. I tried to get Chris to see, I said, did I get that on the shortest one? And he said, yep, that's as short as it goes. I would like to make it shorter, but I don't know how to do that. So there we go. All right, <laughs> that's it for my haul and my little craft. So let's, let me pull up my uh, questions here. And we'll get started answering some questions here. Also, too, if you have any more questions for me, I'm going to be in town till the 25th. And after I'm done my cruising, uh, I'm only going to have, like I say, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday videos this week. And then I'll have a, a video for Sunday, probably next Sunday. Uh, and that'll be a cruising something, one of those. And then Tuesday, I might come on and tell you about my birthday and that celebration and answer any more questions. So if you have any more questions, let me know. You know, in, in the comments down below and I'll answer them by then. But anyway, like I said, I have 11 to answer here. So let's get started. All right. Uh, number one is from Lucy Please forgive me up front here if I butcher y'all's names. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Lucy Leon, Lanio, Leonio, something like that, Lanio. Uh, she asks if we raised our kids in this house. And Lucy, no, we did not. Uh, we raised our kids, and I'll give you a picture here, in this house. And we lived in that house for 26, let's go almost 27 years and that's where, uh, and we lived, we had a house before that that was a, a split foyer. Um, we were in that house for five years and grew out of that one pretty quick and built the one I just showed you and were in there and raised both of our kids. Kristen was four when we moved into that house and Candace was one. And that's the only house they knew. Now they come back and visit us here at this house and they each have their own kind of bedroom in this house, you know. But uh, no, they never lived full time in this house. You know, they were off to college and, and off on their own lives, you know, by the time we got in this house. Which I'm kind of sad about because I would have loved to have had this house when they were little and they could look over the railing and you know what I mean? And uh, that other house was a lovely house. Don't you get me wrong for one second. We felt very, very lucky to be able to have that house. And uh, it was a lovely house to raise kids. It was a lovely neighborhood back then. They still have those friends to this day, you know, that they met and would hang out with and you know, all of that. So, but that was the house they were, they were raised in. So there's that one. Okay, number two. This is from Charlie S. Since you are leaving your decor up until after Thanksgiving, will you be working behind the scenes preparing for Christmas? Uh, Charlie, I'm actually not going to be leaving my decor up until after Thanksgiving. Possibly some of it will be up until after Thanksgiving, but truly I get back from my cruise on November the 2nd. And I'll probably take a few days to recover because I know I'll have some jet lag and I'll be tired, you know, from that. But at the very least, I'll have probably the fireplace uh, decorated for Christmas uh, because we put our Christmas tree up, the big Christmas tree up, in the family room on Thanksgiving night with the, fa with the whole family, you know. So at the very least, that I'm going to try to get that done before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I will be decorating though after Thanksgiving this year, which I've normally finished. I have been the last three or four years. Well, since we've been in this house, actually, I've been finished Christmas decor uh, before Thanksgiving. And since I've had my YouTube channel, I have been because it seems that you all enjoy ha seeing the Christmas because you all go to decorate maybe after Thanksgiving and like the, to have the ideas. And that's why I've always done it that way and would love to, but I'm just not going to have the time this year. So y'all just have to bear with me <laughs> and hang with me while I, while I traverse through, you know, my life here. So, uh, but there you go, Charlie. Okay, number three, Linda LaBelle. She said, I have been following you. This is about the bell. This is about the bell on YouTube. Actually, she saw, I guess everybody discussing, I don't see a bell, I see a bell, I don't see a bell, I see a bell. And I think she saw that in the comments and then she commented here to me. She says, I've been following you for about three years now. I think in regards to the bell, I discovered that when I'm watching videos on my tablet and I subscribe to someone's channel, that there is never a bell. 
Don't know why, but it does not show on my tablet. Everything else does except the bell. So I have to click the bell on my computer to get notifications to people that I subscribe to. So my thought is it may be the device they are viewing videos on. Just a thought and maybe it would help some out. There are uh, out, uh, boy, boy, if I can read, maybe it will help some out there that are also having that issue. So I thank you so much, Linda, for saying that. I did mention that to somebody and they still said they didn't see a bell. I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But try this, you guys. Try if you do usually watch on a tablet or on your phone. You know, if you have a computer that you can check and go to mine and other channels, you know, that you haven't been able to see the bell, check on your computer and possibly that will solve the problem. If it doesn't, um, unfortunately, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the issue is. So, but I appreciate it, Linda. Thank you so much, Linda, for, for saying all that. I appreciate that. And hopefully that will help some people, you know? Oh, I said, here comes some man walking up the driveway and it was Chris. <laughs> what he's doing? We're having a pretty dank, yucky day here today. I don't know. And it's finally cooling off. As you can see, I'm in a sweater. So it's finally, fall is finally arriving here in Virginia. Okay, uh, number four, uh, Cassie B, uh, can you tell me how do you determine how many loops should be used? I am assuming she is asking me about a funky bow and how many, how I determine how many loops to use. You know what, Cassie, I just kind of do what I feel like doing on that day. Uh, for those of you, for instance, who watched my mailbox, you know, you saw me make a, well, I didn't make the bow on camera, but I had made a bow that had like five and a half inch loops and it was, I don't know, 12 inches or 12 loops. And I didn't care for that. I whipped that thing off of there. I was like, I don't like it. And I made it less loops, but bigger loops. I made that a nine loop. Funky I made bow. that bow a 10 loop funky bow out there. It's just, to, you know, you, I don't, there's, you know, I have my funky bow cheat sheet that tells you how to make a nine loop, a 12 loop, a 16 loop, and a 20 loop funky bow. I do not have anything set in stone for myself or that I've told anybody else, uh, no rules. You know, I just do what I think looks nice and I encourage you to do the same. Go with your gut, trust yourself to make it as big or as little or, you know, as many loops or, you know, uh, as big of a loop as you want, you know, just go for it and, and do what looks good to your eye and trust yourself. Trust yourselves, you know. You know, I, there we go, Cassie. I hope that kind of answered your question. I know probably, I don't have anything set in stone, so. Okay, number five from Barbara Norcross. Where did you purchase the wreath hanger on the inside of your front door? <laughs> Do y'all know how many times I get that question? I get that question, I get my paint color question. I, <laughs> I get a lot of the same questions. So I have now, Every time I put up a video on my Country Craft Corner, you are going to see a list of links within the description. That wreath hanger is going to be one of them. I got my wreath hangers from Grandin Road. If you do a search on Amazon, you sometimes can find it on there. Just search for adjustable wreath hanger. Uh, but I get mine from Grandin Road and I wait till they go on sale. And actually, we waited until they went on sale and we bought a bunch. And we gave one to Candace when we gave her her wreath. I gave one to Kristen when I gave her a wreath. I gave one to Stacy. I gave one to my aunt. You know, uh, every time I give a wreath, I give a wreath hanger too. <laughs> that's the way it's been, you know. So, uh, but that's where I get them, Grandin Road. And they are called an adjustable wreath hanger. And they have the ones that I have and they also have one that I have too. And if I can remember right, at Christmas, I'm going to have snowflakes on it. It's wrought iron, but it has snowflakes on it. It's real pretty. So that's where I get it. But from now on, do check the description. You know, I have my fairy lights linked in there always now. I've got brown corded lights linked in there all the time. I'll have to look through and maybe... Oh, here. I've got my YouTube. Okay. In the description now, for every video, you should be able to find... Uh, my link for my paint color, or not a link, but I tell you what the paint color is and where I got it. Uh, link for my snippers, my hot glue gun, for my cable ties, my fairy lights, my brown corded mini lights, never wet. 
<laughs> that's the other one I get a lot of. Uh, the adjustable wreath hanger. And then I tell you I'm on Instagram here. My blog is here. My blog that contains my funky bow cheat sheet is there. Then of course I have my basic negative comments are subject for deletion and pleasure will most definitely be blocked. A negative comment reflects on the type of person that you are, not the type of person that I am. I have that, if you've not seen that, I have that in every description. So, and as I see questions that come all the time, I will add a link in the description and I just copy and paste those in every time, you guys. So, I wanted to let you know about that because I just have started to do that in the last couple with my uh, fall, fall uh, series. I started doing it, so... Okay, Shirley Landers, number six. How do you store your wreaths so they look nice for years? Uh, I have shown where I put my wreaths and Chris hangs them on the rafters in the basement. And for some reason, our basement stays really clean. I don't know how it does that. I don't go down there and clean it, that's for sure. But it stays clean and my wreaths stay nice. They really, really do. I do pile some of them sometimes. Uh, right now I have a couple of my spring wreaths just kind of piled on top of the uh, bins down there. But um, Chris hangs them with, uh, I don't know how he hangs them to be honest with you, with a little toggle uh, on the on the rafters down there. No, no, nothing special. We don't do anything special. Okay, number seven, Jojo. Your yard lining is so soft and cozy. Beautiful, inviting home you and Chris have made together. That picture with your three dogs was wonderful. Left me wondering how you got them to sit so nicely. <laughs> I trained them from the moment we got them. I'm telling you, I trained them. I mean, you know, I, I, Kristen would help me. Chris is very good. All of us, all of us make sure that we know how we, what our keywords are that we don't go into run-on sentences with them. Sit, stay, come, out, you know, kennel up when we put them in their kennel because they'd had a kennel for about the first six months of their life, you know, if, until I knew that they, I could let them out and trust them during the day, you know. And they weren't in during the day. They were. I'd leave the door open. That was their safe haven. They'd go into their kennel and lay down and sleep. They loved it. They loved their kennel. But they would go in at first at night uh, we had one in our bedroom, and we had one in the family room, uh, you know? But and that's how. And Nilla's, Nilla wafers, that was my secret weapon. <laughs> Although when Sam and I were in training, uh, he, he's not food motivated. Sam is not food motivated at all. And I would literally cook him chicken every night before we'd go to that training so that he would, you know, do what I wanted him to do. That was a very stringent training. We had to walk by other dogs. You had to, you know, have big crashing noises in the background. I mean, it was a stringent kind of a test, you know, so it was pretty intense. But so for that, he had chicken. <laughs> other than that, Nilla's. They loved Nilla's. And not a lot, but just, you know, I'd break one in half and sit and down and they'd sit all in a row and they'd go and they'd sit themselves like that after a while they would just go and sit themselves you know i could maybe if i can find a bunch of pictures i can put them of our years of dogs always through the last however many years we've owned dogs they've all we, we've always trained them to sit so sit not sit but sit and pose you know so that's how <laughs> just good training and and stringent training and and consistent always being consistent you know so there we go uh number eight judy hammock hey judy uh those mums are going to be so beautiful when they open oh outside you're talking about yeah do you do any special trimming in order to make them so round and if so how i don't touch them chris are you in here hey chris do you do anything special with your mums to make them so big and round and pretty? No. Do you prune them when after they bloom, right? After the blooms fall off? No. <laughs> They're bigger than six inches tall now. Yeah. Oh, when they're coming back out. Okay. He says he prunes them once in late spring, uh, right after they're coming back out. 
So there you go. I don't understand any of it, Judy. So, you know, if y'all are green thumbs, I'm not, not Arlen. No, no. <laughs> Chris is that in this house. Honest to goodness, you guys. Okay, uh, number nine, read us the myth. Uh, beautiful display. Chris did a great job with the lights out front. By the way, who is Chris? <laughs> Sorry for asking, but you mentioned this name a lot in your videos, so I'm curious to know. Hope you won't mind me asking. Of course I don't mind you asking. I think Rita must be a newer subscriber, uh, and I must not have said lately that Chris is my husband. <laughs> He's my husband of 37 years, Rita. We met as young children, young kids. Well, he was out of college, and I was in college when we met, actually, and uh, got married and never looked back. <laughs> He's my husband. Chris is my husband. Uh, number 10. Okay, and I had so many people ask me this. I, don't, I didn't even write their names down, but y'all have been really asking me about my bracelets as of late. So I thought I would show them to you. Um, this bracelet is a bracelet, one of my first gifts from Chris. It's just a pretty rope. That's a gold chain running uh, through the, the silver rope. Excuse my nails, I really need to get them done. I'm trying to wait till I get closer to my cruise. So excuse my nails. But Chris got me that first, first, first one of his, my first gifts from him. So there's that. And then um, this is a Brighton bracelet that Kristen got me for Christmas. I have a necklace to match. And it's just hearts from Brighton. And then I purchased myself this one year at the Yankee Candle place down in Williamsburg, Virginia. It's just a bangle, but it's Brighton and heavy. And this was not extremely cheap, to be honest, <laughs> this one. Probably none of them were, but I did not buy them. This is the only one I purchased, so. And then the other uh, dangly ones, the ones you probably are hearing a lot lately, I've been trying to wear these more because they've all been gifts from Stacy and my girls. And to be honest with you, I can't remember who gave me which one because I've had them for a long time. But one is from Candace, one is from Kristen, and one is from Stacy. The three, three of the most beautiful and wonderful women in my life. And these are Alex and Annie. This one just says mom. So, obviously, this is from one of my girls. <laughs> and then, I think Stacy actually got me the dog. I'm not sure. Stacy or Candace, actually, now that I think about it. Little dog, Paul. And then this one, Breath of Life. If I had to guess, I'd guess that Stacy got me this. That's my bracelets, and I wear them every day. Well, I wear these three without fail every day. Every day, every day, every day, these three. And then I have been adding my Alex and Annie, too. For a while, you guys, I had a hard time fitting into these. When I was heavier, they were so tight. Now, look at these now on my wrist, but they were so tight. Look at them. I could, they would be tight on my wrist, y'all. So, I love them though. And now I can get back in them. So there's my bracelets. And then the last one, number 11, is from Angela Brackman. She said, everything looks beautiful. Maybe you could get your husband to do a tutorial <laughs> on how to install the night lighting. No, I'm afraid he won't do it. Up lights, spotlights, etc. question. And then uh, let me uh, say that, uh, respond to that first. Chris won't come on camera, sweetie. He will not. Yeah, you know, everybody calls him the hand <laughs> because he'll his hands. He'll let his hands be in. You know, and every now and again you'll see him from the waist down. You know, so he's a handsome dude. You know, but he doesn't want to be on camera, and I respect that totally. Totally respect that. So he, I'm afraid we were not going to be getting any tutorials. <laughs> no tutorials from Chris, unfortunately. Uh, but then your question, she says, your remarks at the end or whenever you give them, did you know or know someone with a catastrophic illness? 
Angela, yes. Unfortunately, I've had several people in my life who have had catastrophic illnesses and subsequent death. And uh, nobody right now, thank the Lord, nobody right now. But uh, the first one I can think of was my, um, of course, my grandparents, you know, but my cousin, I had a cousin. Uh, and as you all know who have been following me, I've got a very close family. I am an only child but I'm very close to all of my cousins and they're, uh, we're a very, very close knit family. We're spread over four states, but we're very, very close. Uh, but we had a, a, a cousin um, die of cancer back in the 90s and she was only in her early 40s. So that was very devastating for our family. You know, very, very devastating for our family. So, you know, my cousin Donita, her younger sister, so that was the first one. And then uh, my mom. My mom died of Alzheimer's. And um, that's pretty catastrophic, you know. And it took 13, 14 years to kill her. Honestly, she was in really good physical shape. She was smart. So smart, you guys. So well-spoken. Such a beautiful, beautiful lady inside and out, and it just ravaged her. First thing that went with her was her speech, y'all. She didn't, um, she got really quiet really early on in the disease, you know? And uh, so, my mom. And then more recently, she died in 2013, my mom did. And then just recently, only a year ago in October, it'll be October, I think, 18th, I believe, uh, my dear friend Liz, uh, who was the person who encouraged me to start, I'm sorry, my throat is really tight <clears throat> as I talk about this, uh, <clears throat> but she is the one that encouraged me, along with my daughters, to start my YouTube, to start my blog, my written blog first, and then which morphed into my YouTube channel with Arlen's travels too. Um, she has, I used to have Newfoundland dogs and we met on Facebook. And uh, Chris and I, as you know, go to Alaska a lot and they used to live in Victoria or on Vancouver Island. And we have, had actually met in person four times, four or five times. And I loved her dearly. She was a very sweet friend. And ALS took her really fast. 18 months, I think, it took her really fast, ALS. That was last October of 18. So that's three, three very close women in my life that I've lost um, to pretty catastrophic illnesses. So that's why I say that, and I know I get a lot of um, folks emailing me and through comments asking me for prayer because they know I'm a Christian, and I will pray. You know, I usually pray for you guys as a group, but when I do get a prayer request, I will pull, pull that person out and pray specifically, you know, for that person too. So yes, Angela, that's why I say my final words, and they were given to me one day, I feel like really and truly my final words, you guys. And I can't in good conscience really close down a video. The only videos that I that I may close down without doing my final words would be like a state room tour, something like that. You know, uh, but all of my crafting videos and uh, and my um my travel videos that are, you know, my packing videos and all of those, you know, always will have those final words. I feel like they were written on a chalkboard and I almost read them verbatim every time. So, yeah. But anyway, that's it. That's my 11 questions. <laughs> Do you get a drink? My throat is so, um, I get touched, you know? All right. Well, I think that's it for this one, you guys. Uh, so, again, if you have any questions, I'm an open book, obviously. I'll tell you anything, pretty much. Um, if you don't, if I don't answer you, it's either because I haven't seen it or I don't want to answer. <laughs> but that's very rare. I usually answer. Uh, 
But anyway, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will record them like I did here on my sticky and get to them next week in a video. So, but anyway, that's it for this one. I'm going to go put this in place and I will take a picture of it and I'll flash that up at the end so you can see how it looks. And that's it. So, let me go into my final words and say... Thank you all for stopping in here. Once again, I appreciate every single one of you. For those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention. How many has that happened to? It has happened to me quite a few times away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.